I found a similarity between that and the similarity between the reptilians and the Barbara Marciniak material. But for a direct connection between Pleiadians and the Nag Hammadi material, no, I, I, I didn't mean to infer that. Okay? So I'm glad we had that clear. Yes? You said you had um, God goddess in the center of our galaxy. Yes. Uh, is that now, is there another God goddess in the center of all of the galaxies? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. It's like, it's like, these are individualized expressions of God consciousness as a galaxy. But then and it's like, but then there's clusters of God. It just goes up, you know, on up the scale. But it's all living, intelligent consciousness. So it's like that's like it's like the fish. It's swimming in water. It's like we're we're all. In, this is God stuff out here too, even though it's not individualized as a as a form. It's like we're swimming in God stuff, and it's all around us, through us. You know, it's like you to talk. I highly recommend um, you know, not in his image, but John Lash. Because he's, he's done quite a bit of study on the Nag Hammadi scrolls. And it's like, this is, theologians go to the Nag Hammadi scrolls and they look at these, these references to the archives and it's like, they think, this sounds, sounds like science fiction, so they throw it out. It's like they, they focus more on, on traditional theological concepts that are within the, the Nag Hammadi material. John Lash says, wait a minute, this other stuff is valid too, let's look at that in the context of the UFO issue that, that we're all aware of. And, hmm? Yeah, it's called Not in His Image. Not in His Image by John Lash. And you can go to his website, which is metahistory.org, where he talks a lot about it. That's where I first heard about this stuff. I suspect Tesla was also very in tune with, with the Sophia of planet Earth. Because, uh, what, in 1914, he had, we had our first tower up on Long Island which would have provided all of us with free energy. That the planet itself is a huge electrical generator and it creates endless free electrical energy. All you have to do is know how to tap into it. You live in a sea of energy. Let's see, absolutely, absolutely. But, what's his name? Uh, J.P. Morgan, J.P. Morgan and Rock, uh, Rockefeller Decided no, it's like we can't make any profit off that. So let's let's get him let's get him hooked on oil, right? Tesla drove a Pierce Arrow around New York, and it had nothing but a box in it. Yeah, there was absolutely right. no fuel going. Absolutely, in that car. absolutely. For years. Right, right. He had he had a, he had conceived a whole a whole technology where all the energy you need, all he had to do is go up buy an antenna, buy an antenna for your car, for your boat, for your house and be supplied with all the free electricity you needed. And it's like, we have paid the consequence for not listening. That's the other thing about the secret. People say, well, well, uh, what happens when we run out of oil? What happens, you know, it's like, it's like if, if, we can, if we all access all the stuff that we want to access, well, there won't be enough to go around. But it's like, no, when you, when you open up to the possibilities, the new ideas come, new concepts, new technologies. It's like, we're, there's no, who knows what we can create? Yes. Uh, it's semi Yeah, back to what he said about money. Yes. Money is the biggest solution on the planet. <laughs> our creativity right. and our abilities right. are who we are, and that yeah, we absolutely. are robbed of that. Because, yeah, absolutely. Because we have to give that up to work for the dollar, right. Right. and we become nothing. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's money great. is the biggest solution on this if, if you're, okay. you run out of There's gas. nothing to support it other than we. You run out of gas. Why do we? You got to stop collectively. Money is an illusion. Stop agreeing to it. Stop agreeing to it. Oh, so I can't do that. It's like get that dollar bill. Get that dollar bill out of your wallet and look at it. What is it worth? And what is it? It's just a stupid piece of paper. It is a stupid piece of paper that is worthless. But we collectively agree that it has value. If it's good counterfeit, No, no, no. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about whether it's printed in Washington. That dollar is worthless. It is a stupid, worthless piece of paper. Energy, huh? It is. That's the problem. We all got to stop agreeing. Stop agreeing that this has value, and we got to do it collectively. It's like, um, that's the toughie. That's the toughie. Okay. Yes. My basic sources.